He was a boy, just a boy, when I was a very young girl. When I was 16, I made the discovery, love. In this scene, Blanche recounts the tragic death of her husband, Alan Gray. She opens up and tells Mitch what happened on that night. This monologue explains to the reader why Blanche hears the polka music and gunshot in her head. Her past with Alan Gray is what makes her who she is in the play. All at once, and much, much too completely. It was like you suddenly turned a blinding light on and something in something that had always been half in shadow. That's how it struck the world for me. But I was unlucky, deluded. There was something different about the boy, a nervousness, a softness, and tenderness, which wasn't like a man's. Although, he wasn't the least bit effeminate looking, still. That thing was there. He came to me for help. I didn't know it, I didn't find out anything till after our marriage, when we'd run away and come back, and all I knew was I'd failed him in some mysterious way, and wasn't able to give him the help I needed, but couldn't speak of. He was in the quicksands and clutching at me, but I wasn't holding him out. I was slipping in with him. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything except I loved him unendurably, but without being able to help him or help myself. Then I found out in the worst of all possible ways, by coming suddenly into a room that I thought was empty, which wasn't empty, but had two people in it, the boy I had married and an older man who had been his friend for years.